First time I met Reg Murray was we engaged him to do some cultural checks on our potential viewing platforms at Dunstan's and Walker's. And then I was also talking about the horse yards that we had to rebuild as they burned in the fires at Gibson's Hut. I asked Reg just out of the blue, I said, hey mate, you don't know anyone that builds yards, do you? Bo asked me, did I know anything about building yards, horse yards? And I said, well, yes, you know, instead of being a week to nine days, we end up st spending three weeks up here because um, the weather held us up. No hut was there, so he had his own truck with a tent. It rained, it snowed, he had all weather conditions. It was nice being out here. It was, it was uh, daunting at first to see the damage that had happened. We knew we were here to do a bit of restoration and uh, on a heritage uh, aspect as well, but also on a cultural level. Uh, and it was great that Reg was, um, uh, you know, approached and given given the work. Because the posts and the rail was um, square rails, I had to come up with how to put the rails and posts together. I come up with so many different ideas, and this is the best idea I could come up with at the time. It was good to be in the bush again um, it, because of my background and being Aboriginal um, I spent a lot of time growing up in the bush and on river banks and things and um, but I've got pretty soft over the years. Through a couple of guys his way that would go up every day and work with him and one was a builder so it worked in really well. And they had a great relationship, like they enjoyed working together and Reg really appreciated it. And so did the crew guys, like they got some satisfaction out of what work they did, like being local crews and rebuilding some of the infrastructure up in this area, it worked out really well.